I love the way he's um, able to bring the entire world in his creation. I love the, his personality. Um, and I love the, the way that I, I'm sure that I, I will be surprised. The inspiration is vampires, which is rather amazing as a thought, no? So I'm really excited to see the actual show and all the clothes on because I've only seen them on the hangers. But I think it'll be exciting. The vampire for me, it's like uh, something like uh, I love. I remember maybe the first one oh, no, I saw when I was a child, like some vampire movie. And at the same time scary and uh, can be also like quite funny. Remember the one of Polanski, the Ball of the Vampire, which is absolutely incredible. So humoristic. So it can be all that. And I love all also the atmosphere, the clothes, the candle, everything that is around it, you know. I love that. So all the atmosphere, I say one time it could be like I could do one uh, show like that. On that time, I, I, I choose that time because now uh, with the cable, you can see every night there is minimum 10 movies that are about vampire, you know, around like 11 o'clock, something like that. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> silhouette was quite like sharp on like shoulders on like skirt a little 80s but I, that I did in a I think in another way it was today the kind beginning. of work around the layered fabulousness that was going on in the, the millefeuille within the suits they were amazing Paul Gauthier takes themes and elevates things to a kind of a catwalk status that were either fetishistic or uh, he celebrated all kinds of human forms, old, young, short, big, slim. Um, and I think it's really kind of, he broke a lot of fashion taboos and made it a more interesting and diversified kind of palette with which to work with. And I think that's something that we've always been interested in, this idea of the circus of life and the panoply of people. It's a tire jogging in Tweed. The one in velvet with inside like uh, the chiffon and the shaved, uh, shaved mink, you know, white. Uh, and uh, with sequins, with uh, Swarovski, with degradé of Swarovski colors, you know. It was quite uh, a big work on the jogging. The jogging and with high heel, and uh, that was a little the spirit. person in fashion who seemed to leap out of the fashion box and say you can't hem me in I'm not just fashion I'm taking popular culture and I'm taking high I'm taking low I'm smashing it together I won't be defined and that seemed to be a sort of battle cry that I think influenced us somewhat in our own work in story and theatre and opera you know
these sort of drapery that you see in, in uh, sort of very kitsch apartments on the use as a garment is just beautiful but so difficult to manage and that's where he's great because he takes something that's very shaky and he makes it work so <laughs> bravo in that extremely immediate fashion way and also he's in uh, you know a great technical uh, designer and he can work in the world of couture just doing the most exquisite tailoring and um, make an enormous statement with that so I think it's very interesting that he's able to kind of bridge both those worlds. are very important because it's part of your body it's not at least like makeup that you put over it here it's you yourself so I wanted the hair to be matching with the clothes that was the, the idea also like if it is continuity like you know the idea of couture like you have the shoes the belt the gloves and the bag which has same color same fabric same laser let's say I wanted to do the same thing with the air, matching air. So it was like a confounding and going down through the dress. I love so many of his creations, the colors, the material, the, the atmosphere, the, all the looks. I mean, I'm really looking forward to try and to have the occasions to wear some of them, maybe at the, the French Academy Caesars. I love all the fours that were noir, and there were quite a few of them in velvet, in crepe, and they were all fantastic. And the gold suit, let's not forget the gold suit. That time I took very few colours. Because normally I have like 25 colors, you know, in my palette, let's say. But there I took like only the black because of Tenebre, uh, because of the dark side, the red because of the blood, the white because of innocence and purity, let's say, and silver and gold because of mysticism and metallic and mystic. So. It was a fantastic show. The hair, yeah, and the all the hair things was the gorgeous. Hair with, the, with the back lines and the hair, we, we all love, the work, all the sort the of whole, uh, Tilda Swinton, uh, only lovers left alive, inspiration, fantastic, fabulous, all of it. We can work with it definitely. I don't yeah. think there was a single dress we couldn't wear, no. <laughs> no. Especially, I wonder where the the red, just the naked with the red. Very off. Susanna.
she tastes marvelous. I was so great that she accepted to do my show. She was two years ago in my uh, audience. Because I love her and I saw her and she was so unique and so incredible that I said one time I would do something with her. And it was perfect for the timing and everything and uh, she accepted and I am so glad. And she was fantastic. What a strong woman. <laughs> You know, we met in 2012, you know, and I really was sitting there dreaming of being a part of such a show. Or, or you know, at least that fashion designers think that my music is good enough to put it into the show. And now both things happened today. And it's just crazy, it's just crazy and I got this beautiful dress. He's a genius. I'm so moved. It's. I, I have goosebumps, you know, I could nearly cry. I haven't seen such a beautiful couture show for a long, long time. Everything is so accurate, everything is so relevant. And this respect you have for women, this respect you have for anatomy. It was just magnificent. He's just a great designer, that's all. I have no word. I have no word. And merci Jean-Paul. Thank you so much for this emotion, this pleasure you give us. She is a couture woman because that is couture. It is to be unique and she is unique. Good night. <laughs>